For number 10, we are going to work this out. We have 2.1 to the second power minus 0.1 to the second power. We see that we have the powers and then also the subtraction. The word of operation says we have to work out the powers first and then subtract. So we are going to focus on the 2.1 to the second power as well as the 0.1 to the second power first. And let's work this out. 2.1 to the second power. What does the second power mean? The second power means that we have to write down the number right here, namely the 2.1, twice, and then we multiply them together. So we are going to have 2.1 times 2.1. And let's work this out on the side. And to set this up, I will just write it down vertically, 2.1 times 2.1. And technically, I have to line up the numbers all the way to the right. It just happened that it's also lining up the decimal point. But we don't need to line up decimal points all the time when we multiply. Anyways, we go ahead and multiply. 1 times 1 will be 1. 1 times 2 will give us 2. And we're done with this 1. Now we move to this 2. 2 times 1 will give us 2. But then we put down the result right here for the second row. So 2 times 1 is right here. That's the 2. And then 2 times 2 will give us 4. And then we add the numbers together. 1, and this is technically 0. So 1 plus 0 will give us 1. 2 plus 2 will give us 4. And then the 4 just the 4. But then this is not the final answer yet. We have to see how many decimal places that we need for the result right here. And to do that, we have to count how many decimal places do we have all together from these two numbers. The 2.1, as we can see, we have one decimal places. And then for the 2.1 right here, we also have one decimal place. Therefore, for the final result, we need a total of one plus one, two decimal places. So what we can do is this. Four for one, we start all the way to the right right here, and then we count once, twice to the left, and then we locate the decimal point right here. So 2.1 times 2.1, it's going to be 4.41. That's the first part being already down right here, 4.41. And then we are just going to bring down the subtraction for now. And now let's focus on working this out. 0 0.1 to a second power. Once again, the second power tells us to write down this number twice and then multiply them together. We have to do 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. And let's do it quickly right here. 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 so it's pretty much the same setup and then we just do 1 times 1 will give us 1 1 times 0 will give us 0 and then we move to this 0 0 times 1 will give us this 0 I put on the result right here for the second row and then 0 times 0 will give us this 0 and then we combine we get 1 and 0 plus 0 will give us 0 and then this is just 0 at the end, we still have to count how many decimal places that we need. And this is why I purposely write down a bunch of zeros, you will see. Here, 0 0.1, we have one decimal place. And then for the 0 0.1 right here, we have another one decimal place. For the final result, we need a total of two because one plus one, that's a total of two decimal places. So. Right here, 0, 0, 1, I will start it right here, all the way to the right, and then I move once, twice. This is where I'm going to locate the decimal point. 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 will give us 0 0.01. So I'll put it down right here. At the end, we are going to subtract 4.41 minus 0 0.01. And I would like to show you guys how to set up when we are trying to subtract decimal numbers. We need to line up with the decimal point. So I'm going to put down 4.41 and then minus 0 0.01. 0 point, you see how we line up with the decimal point right here? And then the 0 1. Once again, when we're trying to subtract or add decimal numbers, we need to line up with the decimal point, unlike when we're trying to multiply. But then it just happened to be in since we are lining up to the right all the time in this case, but it's not. Anyways, this is a setup, and we can just go ahead and subtract. 1 minus 1 will give us 0. 4 minus 0, that will give us 4. 
4 minus 0, that's once again 4. And then for subtracting, we're adding decimal numbers. At the end, once again, we just line up with the decimal point. So we have to label the decimal point right here. So the answer is going to be 4.40. But then this zero is all the way to the end after the decimal point. Technically, it doesn't really matter. So you don't need to bother to put down this zero. We can just write down the answer as 4.4. .4. And this right here is the answer. And that's answer choice D. As you can see, when we're trying to subtract decimal numbers or to multiply decimal numbers, at the end, there's different ways to locate the decimal point for the result. Make sure you remember all the little details. That's it.